Hey guys, Tonic here. Another Tuesday, another Atomic Shop review. This week in the Atomic Shop, we have a brand new bundle called the Pioneer Summer Camp Bundle. It's being sold for 1,500 atoms, and I just picked it up, so let's go check it out. First up, let's take a look at the brand new giant ant farm. Now this is going to cost three concrete and three steel to place. And placing it down, we actually do have some ants running around. And it looks like they have a little tunnel system in there. Now this thing is really big. I'm not too sure where I'm going to put it in my camp. I almost wish that we had a smaller version and this big version. Maybe one that we could put on a shelf or something because this thing is really big. But still, it does look pretty cool. Next up we have a budding apothecary. Now this is going to cost 5 wood to place. And placing it down here, it looks like we do have a jar with a flower in it. A book right there. Then we have some seeds. And it looks like it is going to generate something over time. I'm not too sure what it will generate, but I will leave it running for a little bit. So I gave this item some time, and it looks like it generated one strangler pod. Up next, we have this dinner bell. Now this dinner bell is only going to cost three steel to place, and over on the Atomic Shop page, it does say call the community in for dinner with your own dinner bell. So I went ahead and placed an ally over there, and I'm wondering if we do hit this if the ally will come over. There was a system like this in Fallout 4, where you could place down a bell and have all of your settlers come over. But it doesn't seem to work, it looks like he's still over there on his thing. Maybe we are too far away, so let me go ahead and try and actually move that a bit closer. And I do really like the animation, I think the animation looks nice. But it doesn't seem to call him over, so I'm not sure if it's just a functional dinner bell, or if it is actually supposed to call over your allies. Moving on, up next you will also get this large bird nest display case. Now this is going to cost 2 copper and 5 wood to place, and placing it down here it's actually going to hold some easter eggs. So I did craft a few so we could see how it looks all put together. And putting in the last one here, it actually looks like they float a lot, so that one's floating. And these ones are floating too. And even the ones in the middle are kind of floating. So it looks like the eggs are going to float a bit. And out of all the items so far, this one is probably my least favorite. Up next there's also a birdcage lamp. And placing it down here is going to require some power. And it looks like there is no bird inside of it, but we can turn it off and back on. And lastly, with this bundle, you will also get this Pioneer Mr. Fuzzy plushie. And it looks like the other Mr. Fuzzies, just with a Pioneer Scout outfit and hat. But that just about covers everything inside the new bundle, so now let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the Atomic Shop for those at work and just can't get on right now to see everything. So here is the front page of the Atomic Shop, and as you can see, we do have the new bundle and all of the new items. Then we also do have the Scout Paint for the Lever Action and the Reporting for Duty bundle on sale for Fallout First members. Heading over to the second page, we have the stuff from last week. Over on the Greatest Hits page, we have the Backyard Garden bundle, the Mine Reclamation bundle, and the Share the Love bundle. Then we have the greaser jacket and jeans, a clean toilet, resonator guitar, a freight wagon, the rust bucket hammer skin, and the bottle and cappy outfit. Over on the vaulting page, we have the West Virginia outfit bundle, the Slocum's fat stack bundle, and the Helvetia butcher shop bundle, the best of season 7 bundle, and the skull screen paint, samurai sword, bubble machine, West Virginia slot machine, and the octosaw plushie. Then lastly, on the special page, we have a free vault 76 military beret, a free scout spanner, the rotating color wheel lamp, a Pride Flag Bundle, the Pride Flag Icon Bundle, the Pride Frame, the Fallout First Item of the Month, and these red modular mainframes on sale. And quickly taking a look at the weekly challenges, we have completed Gold Star Daily Challenge three times, claim three workshops, collect 20 stim packs or chems, collect 20 nuka colas, complete three daily operations, cripple 30 mylurk arms, destroy five assault trons, drink 10 nuka cherries, scrap 10 junk to produce silver, and then lastly build anything in a workshop or camp 20 times. And again, we did get the weekly offers a bit early this week, so first up we have the Red Modular Mainframe set for Fault First members. This is only going to be 150 atoms, and it will be available all week until July 4th. Then today we have the Rotating Color Wheel Lamp for 150 atoms. Tomorrow we get the Beehive for 350 atoms. Then we have the Red Rocket Paint for 350. Then the Red Opossum Hat for 200. Then the Wavy Willard Swimsuit set for 480, then the Tire Road sign for 150, and lastly on July 3rd we get the Nuka Cola Dark Power Armor Paints for 720 atoms. So overall I think the Atomic Shop is alright this week. Honestly I'm not a huge fan of this bundle, if I had to pick a favorite item it'd probably be the Ant Farm. I can't really see myself using the Egg Display, the Lamp, or even the Budding Apothecary. But as far as the rest of the shop goes, there is some good stuff returning. We have the stuff from last week, the Backyard Garden Bundle, the Mine Reclamation Bundle, and even the Freight Wagon. 
But that is pretty much going to be it for this video, so I would like to say thank you so much for stopping by and watching, I really do appreciate it. And as always, I'd like to give a massive thank you to all of the channel members. Anxiety Ranger, Mazader, Jays the Aussie, Joe Pervincente, Barrett Codes, I am Mr. Me, Not You, Blake Heath, David McDermott, Argent Deer, Shaky Hands Workshop, Leo the Collector Plays, As Death 93 Loopy, Adam Steins and Terry Lockridge, Robert Kennard, CRM 114, Theodore, Slappy Sauce, King Kittens, Omniprotus, Victrix, Axel, Kevin W, Anna S, Fallout McFly, Network Gate, Gold T, Lanthar, Captain Awesome, Heather Henderson, Patrick Ruta, 23 Ice Fire, Bowser Double Friend, Christy Mellon, Schwitz. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys and have a great day.